Then I bought my daughter a puppy, and we have the puppy. And I love my wife. She's so great. But, you know, the dog shits in the house. She asked the dog if he did it. <laughs> the dog's never going to answer her. She goes, did you shit over there? I'm like, no, honey. Aunt Rose shit in the kitchen. <laughs> she actually drags the dog over to show him the shit. I don't do that. The dog already knows he's shit. You drag him over, they piss all the way over to where the shit is. <laughs> That's why you gotta trick them. You gotta act like you don't know he's shit and block their view of it and go, hey, where's my little buddy? Hey, come here. Hey, hey, what the fuck's that right over there? <laughs> I got mad. I wanted to hit him. She said, no, don't hit the dog. That's cruel. You rub his face in the shit. That's how you do it. <laughs> I said, yeah. Let's ask him which one he wants. <laughs> rub his face in the shit? What if it's like a Doberman or a Rottweiler or something? Hey, did you shit over there? Yeah, you got a problem with that? No, it's a nice looking shit. And on the rug too, just the way I like it. Do you need your balls polished while I'm here? So what else has happened? My wife and I just had a brand new baby and uh, oh yeah. You don't have to clap. I didn't pull out in time. I, I don't know why my wife thinks she could tell me not to come yet. Once I hear the word come, it's over. I'm trying not to come. We're making love. And, you know, in my head, I'm like, if train A leaves Chicago at 7 a.m. going 55 miles an hour and train B don't come yet. Yeah, I'm not going to come. Come. I don't want to hear anything when I'm doing it. I can't handle it, you know. We were making love one night. She said, you're in me. I know where I am. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're in me. Thanks, squirt. Happy? <laughs> she goes, well, I read a magazine article, and you know, maybe you're suffering from premature ejaculation. Yeah, does it look like I'm suffering? Those aren't tears on your belly. <laughs> Men don't suffer from premature ejaculation. Women do. <laughs> there is no such thing. When it's time, it's time. Baby, I'm going to come. Wait. No, you hurry up. No, but I want to come with you. Give three seconds. Hurry. <laughs> well, yeah, but <clears throat> time's up. <laughs> well, you didn't get to come, but tell them what we have for her, Jim. <laughs> it's a towel. So I might, my wife says they have this thing called the squeeze technique, and the way it works is just when the guy's ready to come, you grab his dick and squeeze as hard as possible, and he will not have an orgasm ever again. But you can go skeet shooting with his balls when they fly out of his ass. Squeeze somebody's dick when they're going to come? What the, that's like putting duct tape on your mouth when you're going to puke. That shit doesn't work. It's, it's going to find someplace else to come out. I'm coming. Oh, no, you're not. Mm. Hey, your nose is running. My wife, she gets pregnant, and for like the first six, seven months, she doesn't want to have sex. I mean, I want to. I mean, I love her, and, and, and I still want to be close and everything, but she, I'm in bed with her, and I'm like, hey, honey, you think tonight you want to? And she's like, mm, I don't feel attractive. Yeah, well, believe it or not, my dick has real poor vision. <laughs> Actually, he's legally blind. 
She said stuff like that. I said, come on. She goes, I'm too fat. What are you kidding? I fucked fruit. <laughs> You're too fat. I don't have to go around you. I only have to go in. <laughs> what guy would think like that if your wife said, hey, how about a blowjob tonight? Nah, I'm too fat to blow. <laughs> you don't want to suck it when I'm this fat. So she doesn't want to do it for like seven months and all of a sudden she's eight months pregnant and one night she goes, hey, you think you want to do it tonight? And now I don't want to do it. No, because she's like out to here and it just makes my dick look so small. And I'm like that and she's like that. And I don't even know how I'm going to get to it. No, because I can't lay on top of her because I'm afraid, you know, that I'm going to hurt the baby and, and you can't do it doggy style because you go to hell for that. I know you do. You do. No, not in real life, but when they're pregnant, you don't do it doggy style. Because I'm afraid the baby's going to be born, and then, you know, they're going to smack him, and he's going to go, woof, 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 woof. And the doctor's going to go, can I talk to you for a minute? You weren't fucking your wife doggy style, were you? But I do love her, and I want to try and do it. I'm trying to figure out a way we can do it. And then I think that if I turn her over and hold her legs up like a wheelbarrow, and I like kneel on a stool and fall forward that maybe I can land on top of it and she can walk on her hands and I can fuck her like that, do this thing. So, and just when I'm ready to get it in there, she goes, look, you can see the baby moving. I, I don't want to see the baby moving. Now I can't do it. No, really, once you see the baby moving, I could do, that's his home, he lives in there. Shit, I wouldn't want a stranger sticking their dick in my house. <laughs> so anyway, so my wife takes me to this gym and she wants me to work out with her. And they, and they have this muscle guy that's going to give me the tour because he thinks I'm going to want to hire him as a trainer. And, you know, one of these guys, he's like, hey, Mr. Schimmel, uh, let me show you the facilities. Yeah. Why don't you spell facilities? I'm looking at this guy thinking, how the fuck does this guy take a piss? His hands don't reach his dick. They're like, up here. What do you have to like bend down and swing around and somebody goes, hey you, and you rip your balls off. Actually, you don't have to worry about that. If you're that big, you could probably just go into the bathroom and go, hey, you, take my dick out. <laughs> so he goes, listen, first we gotta do a little fitness test to see where you're at. And I said, well, I could save you some time right now. Because I got a little winded filling out the application. So if you have some place I could lay down for a few minutes, that would be terrific. He puts me on this treadmill. I'm on there for like two minutes. I smell bone burning like when you're at the dentist. And he's not even watching me. He's like, hey, do you see the ass on her? I said, I can't see anything. I have blood in my eyes. And he goes, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff here at the gym. We got the steam room. We got the sauna. We got the jacuzzi. Nothing like a nice jacuzzi after the workout. I look at some of the guys in the jacuzzi. I'm not getting in there unless I have a condom on and a cork in my ass. I'm not, because I don't know them, and I don't know their personal hygiene stuff, and I don't know what that froth is on top of the water in the jacuzzi. Because that's like getting into a dick cappuccino or something. I don't want to sit in there and get that dick mist water in my face. I don't want it. So, I'm afraid of that stuff. No, listen, I was at the airport, and I had to go to the bathroom. I'm in the, in the stall, and I got like nine layers of toilet paper on the toilet seat. And I'm not even sitting on the toilet, because I won't. I'm like straddling it. And I got my jacket hanging on the door, and I'm holding onto the jacket. And I'm doing it, I'm hovering. And I'm taking a dump, and the last piece of shit falls in, and the toilet water squirts up my ass. And then my asshole shuts like a time lock at the bank. And that kind of laugh tells me you know what I'm talking about. 
and I'm trying to push it out and it won't come out. And now I got like a four hour flight and I'm thinking, God knows what's laying eggs in me. Because I don't want to wake up in the emergency room with the doctor going, you got some kind of Singapore dick slug up your ass. You didn't get airport toilet water up there, did you? But I do have to get into shape. I, uh, you know, I had a mild heart attack this past year. And you know you're out of shape when you have a heart attack when you're watching television. Let's see what else is on. Oh! And it wasn't only the medication, actually. I was afraid to do it. I mean, after a heart attack, you don't want to overexert yourself. And I was afraid to have sex again. And I went to the doctor and I told him, and he said, Robert, that's a natural thing. A lot of couples go through this. And he gives me this brochure from the American Heart Association and says, go home and read this with your wife. And this is the sickest shit I've ever seen in my life. I'm not making this up. This is under guidelines for resuming sex. It's best to wait one to three hours after eating a full meal before having sex. Wasn't it swimming? No, because my mom thinks it's swimming. When I was a kid, I used to eat lunch. I'd go, hey, Ma, I'm going to go for a swim. And she'd say, nope, you got to wait an hour. And I'd go in my room, jack off, and get chest pains.